How's it going, everybody? Arthur Reyes here, WarriorsMarnes.com, and today we have one NBA game that we are discussing for the Saturday, April 27, 2020, 24 City Games. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys quickly about a promotion we are running over at Warners and Winers, where you guys can save 35% off on all of my packages until further notice if you use the promo code PPAVBB35. That is all one word, no spaces. Make sure to go check out my profile as well as some of our other top performers as in addition to this video that you guys are getting for free on YouTube.com. You get access to my written picks as well as what I'm betting on throughout the day. So you guys are always in the loop. Again, winnersandwinners.com. Use the promo code PPAVBB35. 35% off until further notice. Also, go check out the links in the description below. Links to all of our affiliate sportsbook promotional signups. So if you guys are in the market for a new sports book or just want to take advantage of some free bonus bets, make sure to go check it out. The link is very simple. It shows you which sports books we offer bonus bets for each sports book. And a link to go sign up. You guys get those bonus bets. We get an affiliate bonus. Everybody wins at the end of the day. So the game we're discussing, if you have not read the title, the Boston Celtics taking on the Miami Heat. Game three of their series. Uh, the series is heading to Miami. At the uh, Kaseya Center, never know how to pronounce that arena. Uh, but Boston, they opened up at a four and a half point road favorite. They're now at a nine and a half point road favorite. Uh, I think that's more to do with the fact that uh, Jimmy Butler is still ruled out. But these teams split the first two games. Uh, the Heat coming off of a 111 101 road winning game, too. Uh, I just think this game is Boston's to win. I just don't see them winning by double digits. Uh, I think this Miami team, they're going to play well. They're going to feed off the crowd energy. I don't know if I necessarily see them winning, so I'm going to avoid going with the uh, with the money line here, even though it's extremely valuable if you, if you believe in it. Uh, I'm just thinking nine and a half points is a little bit too much. I know uh, game two, they went incredibly well from three. And they shot 23 or 43 from the three-point line. Uh, but Boston, they struggled to defend the three. A lot of them were wide open, according to uh, advanced analytics. So I just think Bo- or Miami is going to be able to shoot well, and they could score enough to keep – this game close, so give me Miami plus nine and a half is my play for this game. That's all I have for you guys, though. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one.